Congratulations, sir. Help us understand the data, if you will. On the one hand, the vaccine has 90% efficacy when given as a half dose, followed by a full dose at least a month apart. On the other, when given as two full doses, uh, we've got some 62% efficacy. I'm no good at these things, so help us out. What are you telling us today? <laughs> We're telling us that, telling you that we tested two different immunization uh, regimens. Uh, one, the standard regime, where you give the same dose twice, and the other, a fairly new type of regime where you increase the dose. So we started with half a dose, and then the second immunization was with the full dose. And intriguingly, that gave um, very high efficacy of, of 90%. That was highly statistically significant. So this looks like a a real result for high efficacy. And we don't fully understand that, but there are several ideas around as to how it, uh, how it might work. And uh, we're exploring those. But so that how long was not will the... it take you to understand specifically what is going on here? Oh, probably weeks and months to do that. We are, of course, looking at that in further trials. As you know, there's a very large trial running in the US right now. About 10,000 people have been recruited already. The numbers are going to be between 30 and 40,000 by the time we have finished. So we may well have the opportunity to reassess this in the US. Promises on distribution, of course, coming thick and fast at this point. Is there any way you can ensure that the one with 90% efficacy is the one that gets distributed? Yeah, well, it's the same vaccine to be distributed, and the vaccines usually come in 10 dose files. So it's really the choice of the end user whether you give the one regime, regime or the other, because it's very easy to give half a dose. And we've discussed this with the Department of Health in the UK. They are very confident that's going to be straightforward. So that's not a, a logistic challenge. And of course, it's dose sparing. So you may be aware that AstraZeneca have taken on contracts to manufacture as many as 3 billion doses of this vaccine over the next 12 months, which would be absolutely extraordinary and fantastic. Uh, but if you could use the half dose regime, that 3 billion would suddenly become 4.5 billion doses available. So there are a couple of reasons why you might want to use this low dose, high dose regime.